with that big ass compressor behind me. <laughs> G'day. We built S2 with a changing environment around us in mind. A device mounted here just three years ago would have been sitting under about a metre of flood water, and that lasted for a number of days. So we have to be sure that when we're sending these products out, we've rigorously tested them before they get deployed. So let's go have a look at some of that rigorous testing now. Oh, actually, I need that. So we're up here now to have a look at one of our ingress protection testing units, which is very simply just a pipe with five meters of water. Now, while it is simple, it is effective in allowing us to evaluate the long-term impacts of severe flood events and what that might do to our device or sensors and antennas that are paired with it. Now, from what I can see, those LEDs are still flashing, which means that no one in the office has correctly guessed when this thing is gonna die. Now, not only do we have a pipe, but we also have a specialized piece of testing equipment. Now, what this means is that we trust that this is gonna to continue to last even after the most extreme flooding events. So we've currently got a device and a couple of antennas in here at a depth of about six meters. And we're gonna run this for a number of days and weeks to ensure that we intimately understand their limits. And we do this by precisely controlling and maintaining the pressure being applied to our device inside the chamber, which at the moment at six meters depth is roughly 30 PSI or enough to fill up your car tires. And bearing in mind, this goes all the way to a simulated depth of about 40 meters, which is 60 PSI. And that's provided some pretty interesting results. What it does mean though, is that we can continue to push the limits of our device and really see what it's capable of. And as you can hear, the compressor's just ramped up. So I'm gonna let this soak for another six days and go see what other tests I can put this through. One week later. <laughs> <laughs> 